And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, transfer window is now closed, we are at the start of a brand new month, of course it being February, and as we always do at the start of the month, we take a look at the head of the month and what is in store for Liverpool. It's a very, very busy month, the month of February, and a very, very pivotal month with obviously a cup final uh, to to look forward to. We'll discuss the sort of major talking points from this month um, and go through uh, what to expect from February whilst also going through some massive FSG news, um, some news with regards to Mo Salah um, and a few other bits and pieces from the Liverpool space. But as stated guys, yesterday was transfer deadline day um, and very, very quiet for Liverpool. But not only Liverpool, um, across the Premier League really. January has been a, a very, very quiet month in terms of how transfer windows have gone in the past obviously last year with the headlines were of course with Chelsea spending all of that money um, but across the Premier League really the whole January transfer window has been fairly quiet um, and as I stated uh, no one um, coming in through the door for Liverpool for the entire month however there was a bit of late action in the transfer window and of course that was uh, Nottingham Forest they were scurrying around for a new goalkeeper and did submit a £15 million bid for Liverpool's backup goalkeeper Kelleher however of course that was instantly rejected from the club showing that well one Liverpool do rate him um, a lot higher than £15 million quid, and potentially um, you know as well they, they want to keep him in, in the door as backup to Alisson Becker and of course he's probably going to be playing a lot of those Europa League games as well and potentially some of the FA Cup games and as I said he's back a great backup goalkeeper especially going into a torn uh, into the the season where we have got four competitions to compete on and Allison you know he has a a habit of maybe picking up an injury now and then so to have that solid uh, goalkeeper as a backup option it is a needs must so correct decision on that regard from Liverpool and as I say Kelleher will be staying um, and as I said clubs need to pay way more than 50 million quid um, for Kelleher he's a young goalkeeper and very very good and he's got a lot of experience at such a young age for a goalkeeper at a big club um, as well so yeah that's the only real thing that happened on the transfer deadline day with regards to Liverpool of course there was a few sort of loans um, here, there and everywhere across January, which we discussed. But that's it for the transfer window. Let's bury that. Um, it's all done and dusted. And uh, yeah, we move on. Now moving on to Mohamed Salah and the Egyptian king has posted a picture of himself running at the AXA training center on Wednesday to give fans hope that we might see him back in action sooner rather than later. His country were knocked out of the African Cup of Nations on penalties on Sunday, meaning we don't have to worry about him returning for a potential final next Sunday as Egypt had hoped. The manager basically indicated ahead of the Chelsea victory that the Reds number 11 isn't likely to be in contention to face Burnley next weekend, but Salah might have other ideas if this latest video is anything to go by. The trip to Brentford on February 17th still appears to be the most likely return date, but you wouldn't put it past anything with this man in terms of returning sooner. Uh, a good update to see Mo Salah back on the grass again and running. Um, of course, we were quoted around four weeks that he would be out from his agent um, but as I stated whilst we are playing very very well at this moment in time and the front three are doing well without him it will be a huge huge boost when he does return as I said it does look like more of a positive update that he is now back running on the grass so great to hear and great to see there with regards to Mo um, in other news guys uh, Liverpool owners FSG are a part of an enormous 1.5 billion deal with the PGA Tour. John Henry and co continue to invest in the sport. The PGA Tour has confirmed a huge deal with Strategic Sports Group this week that sees $1.5 billion of investment that could potentially reach $3 billion. The tour released as a memo to players that see golfers benefit from equity as a part of the deal based on accomplishments and future commitments. This all comes as the golfing world continues through massive investment. Saudi Arabia's public investment fund kickstarted it all with the 
foundation of the rival tour, LIV. However, a deal was struck between LIV and the PGA Tour that saw a partnership of sorts, while the PIF attempted to invest in the latter. The potential investment faces scrutiny in the US, however, as it could fall afoul of antitrust laws. So why is this relevant to Liverpool? Well, SSG is a consortium of US-based investors from numerous supports in the US. One of the main investors is FSG, who own Liverpool. John Henry helped strike the deal in a sign that FSG are very much looking to spend money right now. It remains to be seen whether Liverpool fans should take that as a positive or not. On the other hand, it's good to see that FSG are feeling comfortable with the opening of the checkbook. On the other hand, they could be less inclined to open it after being a key part of the potential three billion dollar deal a report in the athletic does claim that liverpool feel their spending power should have increased on the back of the stadium investment though so perhaps putting both stories together suggests fsg are feeling confident in their spending right now and that could if we're being very glass half full lead to a notable summer at anfield in 2024 with a new manager coming in and trying to implement his ideas and get his players in through the door. So some big news with regards to FSG. Um, and then to finish off today's video, guys, let's have a look at the state of play for February. Um, in some ways now, this feels like a countdown of our time left with Jurgen Klopp, but make no mistake, the month of February is another huge one for Liverpool. Basically, Liverpool start obviously their first game on the February 4th against Arsenal away. The month kicks off with this trip not long after we were there last, and we certainly wouldn't mind a repeat of the FA Cup result. There are just four days between this clash and the visit of Chelsea earlier this week, making for two huge games in quick succession. The Reds have a strong record away from home, and at the time of recording, it's the best in the division. No matter time to maintain that, is there? February 10th, we've of course got Burnley at home. February 17th, we've got Brentford away. Then on February 23rd is the Europa League, last 16 draw and then on February 25th is Chelsea in the League Cup final um, followed by uh, or the FA Cup fifth round at Anfield on February 28th against either Watford or Southampton so as you can see there guys a very, very busy um, February for Liverpool. Um, and hopefully, when we're coming to the end of this month, we've got a trophy. We're still at the top of the league. Um, and, yeah, that would be great. And progressing into the next round of the FA Cup. Here's hoping. Fingers crossed for all of what we just said. Uh, but Liverpool fans, that's all I've really got for you today. Do let me know your thoughts with regards to the FSG news. Let me know your thoughts with regards to Mo Salah update. And, of course, the month of February. What are your expectations? Will we win the League Cup? Will we get to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup? And will we be top of the Premier League come the end of this month? Yes or no? Let me know down there, as I said, in the comments. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.